In this video, we're going to show you how you can create a visual knowledge base for your customers or clients in 10 minutes or less using Screen Steps Live. What do we mean by a visual knowledge base? It means instead of getting a knowledge base that looks like this, you can have one that looks like this. Clear instructions that visually guide your users through exactly what they need to do. Our customers use these visual knowledge bases to provide product support for software applications they develop, to provide IT support for internal and external customers, and to document how to do things in their businesses to help their organizations run more efficiently. In this example, I'm going to create a customer support tool. My goal is to have a collection of visual guides that I can point my customers to when they have questions about how to use my software. I have several requirements for my site. Number one, I need it to be easy to publish and update content. Two, I need my content to be searchable so my customers can find what they need. Three, I need to be able to make my customers feel that they have never left my company's site when they come to my knowledge base. The site template and domain name should all be customizable. Four, I need a simple way of getting my team to work together on creating the content for this site. And finally, five, I want an API so that if I decide to integrate this content with other parts of my site or other web apps later, I have that flexibility. Screen Steps Live will let me do all of this and more. And what's best, I can get it up and running in just a few minutes. Let's get started. Here we are on the signup screen. I will just fill out a few fields, click Agree and Create My Account, and we're set to go. I'll get a free 30-day trial and no credit card is required. As soon as I create my account, I'll be asked to go through this setup wizard. Screen Steps Live has a lot of powerful options that can help me manage a lot of content. But at this stage of the game, I just want to get my Screen Steps Live site up and running so I can post lessons and guides to it. This wizard will help me do that as quickly as possible. I can go back and add the bells and whistles later. I'll just click Run the Account Setup Wizard and we'll get started. First, I'll be asked to log into my account. Just enter in the username and password you just created. Now I need to create a space. Spaces on Screen Steps Live are like many websites. They allow you to control who can and cannot see your content, what your site template will look like, and what URL is used to access your content. Let's create one. I will give it a title, My Product Support. And I'm going to leave this checkbox unchecked since I want anybody to be able to see my content. Next, I'll click Create My Space. Now we need to create a collection. With Screen Steps Live, you don't post your lessons directly to a space. That would work if you only had a little bit of content, but our users all quickly create a lot of content. To help you manage your content more easily, we have you add collections of lessons to a space. A space can have as many collections as you want, but it must have at least one. There are two types of collections, buckets and manuals. The only difference between the two is that manuals have a table of contents where you decide the sequence of each lesson in the manual. Buckets are an unorganized collection of lessons. You don't have to order the lessons at all. You just post them to your bucket, much like you would a blog. Use a manual if your lessons have a specific order that should be followed, or if you want to present an organized table of contents to your customers. Here's an example of what a table of contents looks like for a manual on Screen Steps Live. Use a bucket if you just want a repository of lessons that your users can search and don't want to have to spend time organizing them. Here's what a bucket looks like on Screen Steps Live. Don't worry too much about which one to create now. You can add any combination of buckets and manuals to your space later on. For right now, we're going to create a manual. I'll call it My Product. Now that we've created a space and a manual, we need to configure our ScreenSteps desktop software to post to our ScreenSteps Live account. You can see that the wizard will give me all of the information that I need to get set up. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Go to Preferences, add a new account, My Screen Steps. I'll just select a type here. And see on the screen it tells me this is the server setting I need. And my username was gdevor. Enter my password. And then I'm going to hit Test Connection. And this will verify that I entered everything correctly. You can see that I got the green check mark, which means we're good to go. Now that I've configured my software and tested the connection, it's time to go on to the next step. The next step for me is to download the manual I just created into my ScreenSteps desktop software. This screen will give me all the instructions I need to do that. 
So let's go ahead, go back to Screen Steps, go File, Import from Screen Steps Live Manual, and you can see there's that My Product Manual. I'll hit OK, and that manual is imported. This manual is now linked to my Screen Steps Live account. When I make changes and upload them, the manual will be updated on Screen Steps Live. If I have other users on my team, we can actually sync the changes we make to our manual between us, allowing us to easily collaborate on the content. Going back to my setup wizard, I'll hit Next, and I'll get instructions that will show me how to add a lesson to this manual and upload it to my Screen Steps Live account. Now I already have some lessons in my Screen Steps desktop library, so I'm just going to drag them over into my manual. Let me title this first chapter as well. Let's call it Getting Started. Now that I have some lessons in my manual, I'll just click Export, Screen Steps Live. Because the manual is already linked to my Screen Steps Live account, it's going to ask me if I want to update that manual. I can optionally upload PDFs. I'll turn that off for now. But I'll make sure to leave the lesson packages on. That's what will let me collaborate with other people on my account. I'll hit Upload. It'll give me a preview of what's going to be uploaded. And I can just continue. And it's now uploading those lessons to my Screen Steps Live account. After the lessons are uploaded, I get two URLs. Here is the URL for the administration section of Screen Steps Live. So if I want to go adjust the manual, I can do that. This is the public URL because this manual is in a space that I created. This is the URL that I can use to send to my customers. I can click the clipboard icon to copy the URL to the clipboard or click the space icon to go directly to that space. And here's what my manual looks like on Screen Steps Live. This is what my customers would see. And that's it. My site is up and running. Let's go back to the wizard and click Finish. This gives me a URL for the space that I can share with my customers, as well as the login URL for the administration section of my account. Now, if you look at the space for my account, it's using the default template for Screen Steps Live. I could go in and customize that. In the wizard here, there's an option to customize colors for this space. I'll click on that, and that will bring up the space customization screen. I can come in here and choose one of the preset templates or modify colors to match what I'd like. For example, maybe I want this to be a little bit lighter. I can go in and modify the colors for any aspect of the site just by clicking on the fields and adjusting the colors. I like this, so I'll hit Save. Now if I go back to the public area, my public site, and hit Refresh, you'll see that the new template has been applied. I can also upload a logo. I'll go to the Account Settings and choose Add a Logo. Choose a file, select Upload Logo, and that will now appear in my account area and also on the space that I've created. I can continue modifying my space and completely customize the way it looks. I can even customize the URLs that are used to access it, but I can do all of that later. The important part is my site is up. I can post lessons, add to them, update them whenever I need to and send my customers there to help them get the answers they need. In under 10 minutes, we've created a visual knowledge base. We've customized the design of it, we've added a manual, and we've even posted some lessons. We hope that this video has given you a good idea of how easy it is to set up a Screen Steps Live site. Sign up for a free 30-day trial and start creating your visual knowledge base. You'll quickly see how effective visual knowledge bases can be and how easy they are to create and maintain with Screen Steps Live.